Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over how to uh, package and push the 40 client VPN to endpoints. Basically, uh, I can basically push the uh, 40 client VPN, but with without the profile easily. But what if I want to push it with the, with the profile? So I have this uh, machine and I have a, this profile and I want to push this profile to end user. So I don't have to go each time I uh, push this app to go and configure it. Uh, you know, if you have five, 10 users, that's fine. But if you have hundreds, it's time consuming and there's a way to do it. So I have this uh, client installed on this machine. This is not the endpoint machine, but it's a different machine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm basically uh, going to back up this configuration. If I go to config here, you can back it up from here and you can uh, put it anywhere you want. I already uh, backed it up, but I'm gonna show you how to back it up. So I'm gonna put it on the desktop. I'm gonna call it mazurelabs dot, or not dot. It's already have the conf config uh, extension. And I'm gonna say save. It's gonna ask me for a password. I'm gonna call it, call it mazurelabs and confirm it. And hit okay. And basically the backup happened. So now I have the config file. It's on my desktop. I already have it here. So I moved it here. This is the file. What I also have is um, the uh, installer for an MSI fi file for the installer, the 40 client app installer. I have a PowerShell script, which, uh, you know, I'm going to leave in the link below. You can copy it as is, but with a minor modification. Depends depends on uh, what you have. So if I edit this uh, PowerShell script, simply uh, what you need to do here is this is the password I added. You need to replace this with your password. Also, this is the file name, the config file that I saved. I called it a measure labs. You can call it whatever you want, but you'd have to name it here. And what this does, it's going to install the for the client app quietly without the user inter intervention and it's going to replace the config file or import the config file and restore it so this way the profile comes in and the last part is the uh, intune when app utility that packages all this together now i'm not i'm going to assume that you know how to package a win32 application if you do not i have a video that explains it in details. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So, I already put in the the uh, the uh, information in the script. I already have my config. I have the installer, and I'm gonna run the utility. And basically, it's asking me to specify the source folder. In my case here, it's the VPN folder. And it's gonna ask ask me to specify the setup file. The setup file is called this one. This is the installer. And it's going to ask me where do I want to save it. I'm going to save it here under packaged. And I'm just going to say no to catalog folder and it's going to create it. So as you can see, I'm just going to say, you know, wait for a couple of seconds it's gonna end quickly and here it is so now the last thing that i wanted to show you and what i have is the install command i'm also gonna leave this in the description below so this what this does is we're gonna run this powershell script and if you try to run it just like that without putting an install command it's not gonna run so what i'm saying here is open powershell and bypass the execution policy and then run this command. So this is my install command. So now we go to Intune and I'm gonna add a new app and I'm gonna select Win32. The file, which is uh, the file we just packaged, this one. For the client VPN, I'm just gonna say Next, oh, the publisher, Fortinet. 
Now, as you can see, the installer, it already took it from the installation, but that's not what we want because this is going to install the client without the customization that the, that the profile we have. So what I'm going to do is add my PowerShell to run the script, basically. So I'm going to remove this and add my execution. I'm not going to allow to uninstall, but that's your preference. The operating system, I'm going to go for both. Usually these days, it's really only 64-bit. I'm going to go for anything Windows 10, 2004 and above. It depends on your operating systems. The detection rule, I'm going to say, if you detect it, do not install it. So I'm going to go manually add, and I'm going to say file. Now I'm going to tell it, if basically you went here, to this path and you detected this file which is for the client or this folder rather and I say file or folder exists so do not install it I'm gonna say set next and say next here go with the default now assignments I'm gonna assignment assign it to a group of uh, computers so I have this group which has my endpoint and I'm just gonna say do not hide all notifications and just install it as soon as possible and I'm gonna say next and I'm just gonna say create all right so now it's saved all we have to do is basically wait for this to push the uh, the, uh, the the only computer I have here is basically this d device it's a windows machine and it's called lt test pc and this is the user so i'm going to pause the video it's going to take some time for this to push i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done to show you in the meantime please remember to like this video and subscribe for my channel for more content like this okay so uh, you wait enough time basically for this to install and then i'm going to go to apps all apps and i'm just going to check on it and as you can see, I have dev device installed. One is installed, so I'm going to go check on it right now. And if I look at it, if I, if I go, here it is, it's already pushed. If I started it, I basically find it here. And as you can see, it's already configured so this way basically we pushed it with the profile we packaged it it took like a few minutes from us and uh, we get got the job done well thank you very much for watching please subscribe and like this video we'll see you in the next video